Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options. This is the morning market preparation video for September 26, 2019. Well, boy, oh boy, do we have some drama in the political arena. But it's interesting that the market has chosen to ignore um, a big portion of that drama. Once the president came in and, and made the mention that a China deal may be closer than anyone expects. The market responded quickly to that and began to rally. So let's take a look at what we've got going on here. And honestly, I got to tell you guys, this is a bullish move for the market. The fact that we pulled back and held that 50 day moving average area didn't even quite make it there on the diamonds. That is a bullish move. Now, we have to keep in mind that this is just an inside day. And the one day of an up move does not make a trend. We have to have some follow through. Good news is this morning, the bulls are actually pushing for some follow through this morning. And we're working to breach the, the high of that day. Let's see if we can push on through and hold that throughout the day. But we have a lot of things um, that could affect that as we move through the morning. So let's watch, uh, take a look and see what we can see here in the technicals of the chart. So first off, um, we we had a good hold of support. We do have, if you guys, um, I'm going to go back to this chart. We do have significant levels of resistance that we need to break through. So you can see this is a big barrier up here in um, the diamonds, and we need to push on through that if we're going to see any major upside in the market. Holding that 50 is great, but that doesn't tell us whether or not we're going to actually break through some of these resistance levels. It doesn't um, tell us either if we're going to be able to break through this downtrend of lower highs that we see in the chart. So we've got some work yet to do, but what a nice little rally that was yesterday. A nice little bullish bump, and we all needed that, I think. Now, the critical thing would be is if we fail. If we were to move up into here and then get additional news or additional things and this fail, could be a, um, well, that's really, that really could hammer a nail into the coffin of the market here for a period of time. Let's hope that doesn't, doesn't um, occur. Um, we see those bulls push on through. We'll wait and see. Right now, we, we've got pretty much a relentless push by institutions trying to get up there, all that rotation that they've been doing. And so it's possible that we could get up there. We just want to watch that resistance. And just remember that one day rally does not make a trend, even though it may be feeling, making you feel rather bullish. And it does me, it makes me feel, you know, um, a big sigh of relief anyway, that we didn't just follow on through and crash on down. So, Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY had a beautiful bounce off of its 50-day moving average. And there's a second little tail down here where we bounced off that 50-day rallying. But we still, once again, we're not out of the woods here in any way, shape, or form. And you can see this morning we're looking at a bit of a gap up. Still doesn't do anything about, you know, tossing out this big bearish candle just yet. So we need that bullish follow through. We need that proof that we can hold in here and that we can actually defeat these downtrends. That, that's going to require some work. And also we have to push through some of these um, nasty resistance levels in the chart where we have failed and failed. So could be some work here to do um, in this market, and we'll have to watch carefully for that. Of course, if we were to fail, if we were to break down from this trend um, and, and fail through that 50-day moving average, we could have some serious trouble ahead. But right now, I'm, I'm kind of leaning to that bullish side. It is possible, too, and I didn't mention this on the Dow, that we could rally up a little bit and then just consolidate. Now, if we were to do something that like that, that would actually um, in, in be encouraging to me to consolidate near resistance. That gives us that opportunity to find that inspiration and pop on through. Let's wait and see. But um, yesterday was a good response back, better than I would have expected. Um, let's take a look at the cues. 
The Qs had a beautiful rally back yesterday after breaking down through its 50-day moving average, rallying up strongly yesterday and slicing right back through, right at, back up above that 50-day moving average. So that whip is a little bit difficult to deal with, and I can understand that, how you could just say, look, this whippiness in the market is really hard to trade and I want to stay out of it. Hey, I get that. But it is bullish that we recovered the 50. Now we have to prove to hold it or follow through. This morning we're looking at just an ever so slightly tiny move up here in the futures. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely today because we have a big economic calendar, a lot of things that could move us around still. So watch that close. Um, one of the things I want to mention, if you get back, you know, get in the way back machine and go back to the Clinton impeachment. Um, if any of you were trading during that period of time, you may remember that during that process, when they were going through that entire impeachment process, it took about 18 months or so. And the market was just, I mean, the, the Congress was absolutely deadlocked. It was just a battle royale in Congress, which meant gridlock. Nothing else came out of Congress during that entire period of time. And the market will oftentimes see that as bullish. Okay, if, if we're not getting, um, you know, Congress mucking around in things, um, the market will sometimes rally. It did had a significant rally um, in the Clinton um, presidency when um, it went through the impeachment process. There was a significant market rally, perhaps we um, have a market betting on the same thing here. So let's um, kind of keep that in mind as well. Gridlock can sometimes be a really good thing for the market. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, nice bounce off its 50-day moving average. Of course, that one day um, doesn't make for a complete reversal of that big, ugly black candle there. Uh, but it is nice that we, we bounced up there off of that. And we have just a little bit of rally expected this morning. Now, I've mentioned this several times that the critical feature in this chart is this downtrend. And breaking down below that downtrend again is not a bullish sign and what we need to see is we need to see this recover above that downtrend hold it as support and then have that opportunity to maybe move higher whipping back down below maybe running back up and slamming right back into price resistance areas of the chart not impressive just yet here on IWM. So we've got quite a little bit of work to do here before I could really say there's a there's an all clear on IWM. But it is nice that it had, did have a nice little bounce back yesterday and something we should pay attention to. Let's take a look at the VIX. After some whippiness in the market, the VIX held on at the end of the day, held on to this price support level right here in the VIX chart. Now, today's bullishness could push us right back down through here, and that really adds to this downtrend that we're seeing in some of the recent price action of the chart. So we'll wanna watch that pretty closely. If we can push down in here, that may be a rejection of, of that area. But we always wanna pay attention to support areas in this chart. Any kind of pullback, any kind of news report, as you know, can pivot this market on a dime. So d don't be too surprised if we catch some kind of news report or something that might do that and we see that uh, fear spike back up. So keep a close eye on this. We just we have so much uncertainty in the market that um, it's really hard to trade this um, because we can't get any continuity of direction for any period of time. It's just whip this way, whip this way, whip this way on these news reports. So you have to be pretty nimble um, in trading the markets right now. Let's take a look at the um, T2122. T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. Now, yesterday's rally back up got a significant move up here in T2122. So, what does that tell us? Well, it tells us that we still have room for upside 
if I just draw a straight line across here, we still have significant room for an upside. We also have a very big open door to the downside. So that's about all it's telling us here. And as we rally, we want to be watching, if we continue to rally, we want to be watching these levels up here where we kind of stretch this rubber band a little bit too tight to the upside and that's where we may, may run into trouble. That's why we want to be really focused on those high prints in the indexes for possible resistance levels if we can't pop on through there. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. Our economic calendar um, will certainly have something to say about the uh, how the market really responds this morning. First thing, we have that big GDP number coming out at 8.30 a.m., followed by the international trading goods and jobless claims. All three of those have the ability at 8.30 to move the market significantly. So we'll want to keep a close eye on those. You know, so far, we haven't really seen um, economic indicators that would say the global slowdown is really affecting the U.S. But if they start to come in and surprise, we could get knee-jerk reactions to that. So watch those closely as those numbers are revealed this morning. Also keep in mind that we have uh, more Fed talk here on the calendar. A natural gas report, which is unlikely to move the market at all. And then later on this afternoon, just a whole pile of Fed talk um, coming in, the Fed balance sheet later on in the day. None of those things would be expected to move the market unless we get some kind of surprise from one of the Fed speakers, and I would not expect that at all. So a big parade of Fed speakers, but... These 8.30 reports are going to be key this morning on how the market responds and whether or not we stay bullish. Right now, as I'm recording uh, this, we are bullish on the market. The Dow is looking for about a 60-point gap up, everything kind of holding in there nicely. But as we start moving through some of those um, reports, things can quickly change. So make sure you stay on your toes and um, stay focused on the price action. Remember, put all of that political stuff aside. Um, what you feel, what you think, what you believe you know about that political process really doesn't matter to your trading. Stay very, very focused on the price action on the chart. That is the most critical thing. All of that other political drama and all of those things out there is just noise distracting you from the things you need to be focused on. Now, also remember, we have earnings reports today and one of our bigger days this week of earnings. And so, so um, we do have some of those uh, companies that will be reporting and um, we'll want to keep an eye on those today like um, OCAG, ConAgra reporting. Looks like ConAgra has reported well, gapping up substantially this morning. That's certainly going to be a help. Um, MU reporting today. I can't tell whether or not it's reported. I'm, I'm guessing it has not reported yet, but MU um, reports um, at some point in time today, maybe this afternoon, now that I think about it. So we'll want to watch some of those reports. CCL Carnival Cruise is reporting this morning. Looks like they are gapping down on their report. And FDS is also one of those reports. Uh, looks like they have already reported and gapping down this morning. So few kind of a mix of reports and back and forth but right now market is still saying um, uh, substantially bullish overall so let's take a look at some charts that could be setting up but before we do that if you could do me a favor this is the first time you've seen these videos click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Anytime you guys do that, it just helps the algorithm show these videos to more folks and the channel continues to grow. Thank you guys for doing that. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, it yeah. Again, I, I say this every day, I guess, but I am so humbled by your kind words. Um, it, it, it truly is remarkable. Um, 
uh, so many people are responding to this information. So thank you very much. Um, also, feel free to share this video with any friends and family. You know, just grab that link, post it on Facebook, post it on your Twitter, uh, wherever you uh, might use social media. Uh, send it in an email to friends and family that might find that helpful as well. And uh, because all of the information that I provide on the YouTube channel is free. So let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up things that we want to watch for and um, some good looking trades that, um, well, are just showing some good positive signs. Take a look at Goodyear Tire. Yesterday, Goodyear Tire made a nice little pop up here. This is a pattern that we call a round and bottom breakout. That's where a stock has been just in a cascadingly ugly downtrend. Uh, the 50 day moving average is well below the 200 day moving average and then we start to see that 50-day moving average starting to flatten and maybe turn up price action crosses above and proves a hold in that 50-day moving average area and then buyers start to step in so Goodyear tire really nice move yesterday you can see where I had this alerted popping on through um, we obviously cannot ignore price resistance in the chart so you want to pay attention to those price resistance levels in the chart but the the round and bottom breakout typically finds its path right back up to that 200 day moving average so watch that pretty closely Goodyear tire a really nice chart to be paying attention to and a really good example of an RBB pattern. Let's take a look at BX. BX has been holding in this beautiful, beautiful trend, holding up very, very well. Now we've just slid slightly down and slightly sideways over here to test the trend. And this is what I do with this, something like that. I just take a, um, an alert. I always color my alerts pink. And I thought I would show you guys this. Look right in here where I can find a nice level in this chart. Notice how drawing that line right there, I pick up all of these candles, all of these wicks where those sellers come in. So what I'm looking for with this, and then I just set simply set an alert on this chart so that if the price of the stock pops up through here, it lets me know. I don't have to stare at this chart. I don't have to waste time on this chart. It pops up through there, it lets me know. I know I have a potential entry signal. I look at the chart, make that decision whether or not I want to move forward. BX looking very, very good holding up looking quite strong also in the financial area take a look at wfc wfc had a really nice day yesterday popping out of this little consolidation zone so you can see if if i were to draw a little trend line up here and we held a kind of a little support level in here we're stuck in this little resistance area right in here but wfc showing signs of bullishness trying to pop on through now we do have a lot of work yet to do but what's encouraging about wfc and and really all of the financials that have been picking up is that they have broken longer term downtrends are and now holding in some steady um, looking consolidations and uptrends. So keep an eye on that. WFC could be setting up. Uh, JP Morgan is um, one that I've been keeping an eye on, but unfortunately it hasn't seen quite as much bullish, bullish action here yet. More of a pullback, uh, it's still a wait and see mode. And what I would be waiting for is the proof that it can hold support in here. So keep an eye on that. If we can catch someplace in this area, Pull back to that support, hold it, find that buy signal in here. There may be an opportunity in some of these financials. JP Morgan might be one to take a look at. Take a look at Apple, guys. Apple, there's that trend again. Doggone it. Isn't it funny how that works? There's that trend, and now we have this big response, this nice bullish move yesterday, holding off of this price support, showing some signs of strength yesterday, wanting to push on up. So here again, this is where you can certainly buy this candle right here, or we could take a alert, drop it right in here, maybe catch those wicks right there and see if we can catch that pop out on that chart right there. And that's what I'm going to be looking for. I'm going to go ahead and set that as a new alert on the chart. I'm going to see if I'm going to wait, wait and see if that will pop out 
um, but it's looking like there may be a possibility there and um, an opportunity to move up. Now, we saw a lot of recovery in um, tech stocks yesterday, one of those being Microsoft. Microsoft getting a nice little recovery here, holding off of some pretty interesting uh, support in here and also a little bit of a trend. So watch this in here, Microsoft trying to pick up. Now we have earnings on these coming up, you know, next month. And one of the things that's fairly typical with Microsoft is it likes to rally up in anticipation of news. So keep an eye on Microsoft. It may be one of those you want to put on your list and evaluate. Now, having said that, I want to remind everyone that every video or every chart that I show here is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. It's just an idea to put on your list, something you can evaluate, and, and really just part of the education that I try to provide in the technical analysis of a chart. So thank you everyone for being here this morning. I really appreciate it. If uh, once again, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button and uh, give it a thumbs up if you feel like the video is worthy and leave a quick, um, quick um, response. I truly appreciate that. If you're struggling as a trader, I, I certainly understand that as well. I, I wanna encourage you not to give up to continue to work really hard at this process because believe me, if an old carpenter like myself can end up making a career out of this, anyone can. Take care of yourselves, have a great day. I wish you all the best. We'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one.